Tendal, what comes to your mind when we when we talk about India, uh, when we talk about ISRO? Like, what do you feel? Uh, are we doing enough in the space field? Um, I think we're just stepping foot into that. Um, I think I think like I said before, we're j India is still stepping foot into the industry, and we're still doing a lot that. Agencies like NASA and ESA may have done years ago, but again, I always believed in quality over quantity. So it's not the number of missions; it's about making sure each mission is accurate as possible and trialing as many um, missions as we can before you know we're um, before we tread into um, sending like you know crewed missions to around the Earth and crewed missions to the Moon, to Mars, and so forth. I think we still have a long way to go, but I think we are doing as much as we can as a country. And um, something that never fails to amaze me um, is Mangalyaan. Um, at a time when it was said to be impossible to send a probe to Mars at that budget, um, and right, right. at that, like you know, and the the fact, the reality is, you know, space is hard. And a lot of a lot of countries like um, Russia, I know, um, the U.S. never made it to Mars on the first attempt. It took a lot of attempts before they actually made it. Um, let alone like you know getting into orbit. It took a lot of trials, and it still amazes me how we were able to do it on the first try. It still amazes me how ISR you know managed to pull that off with such a budget. And um, it also proves you know the kind of dedication and hard work the scientists. Had when working on this mission, even though they faced right. every kind of handicap, every kind of criticism from the press, like should we be going to Mars? You know, should we be doing this as a country when so many things are happen happening right now? And even though they right faced now. so much criticism, and uh, they they remained hard, they remained dedicated to this, and um, it still amazes me how India was able to pull it off on the first try. And uh, I would say that one of the things that really um, pushed. Uh, public interest in India um, to like you know this area of space exploration is mission is mission Mangal and um, uh, Mangal Yan successfully getting into orbit and still being you know still beaming back data even though it's you know surpassed the um, duration that it was planned to stay active for I think this is what first generated public interest in space and i estimate that this public interest is only going to grow exponentially over the next over the coming decades as you know um you know with the gaganyan which is happening um the uncrewed mission which is happening at the end of this year um the crewed mission which is happening in 2023 india has a lot of things um there's still a lot to do on our on checklist panel, yeah, yeah, yeah we have a lot uh on our plate and i fully believe that india will succeed i have no reason to doubt the well, capabilities of india so yeah also, like uh, you know, uh, NASA and the agencies in US, they play very cool. Like the people working in NASA are very cool. And when we compare them to Indians, uh, we find it quite differently. But I think uh, that we are the only one who who has mistaken it. Like for example, ISRO organizes a lot of events, a lot of programs which people in India are not aware of. Right. Many students, when I talk to them, you know, uh, I tell them that you know I participated in an ISRO mission right now. So a lot of people in India, they are not aware of such programs. And I believe that we are only who has to be blamed for it. Like you will be amazed to know that people in ISRO are also very cool. Like they'll reply you, like they'll clear every doubt you have. That's so true. It, it also depends from person to person and uh, that how enthusiastic are you to, you know, to participate in what is going on. Right. Yeah. I think in terms of awareness, more can be done. Um, in India, getting kids excited about space, more can be done.